welcome back to the Corona Diet from the Chef's Cellar. Um, tonight we're going to make a French style chicken liver pate. Uh, we're going to make it au poteau, which means we're going to put a slug of port in there, which uh, adds really nice depth to your pate. Um, and we're also going to talk about why I'm going to recommend that you drink something like a uh, like this Saint Emilion Grand Cru that we've got here. Um, it's from the Chateau de Bechou, um, but any Saint Emilion would be a good pairing. Um, but we'll uh, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, we've got a pan hot here. This is a little bit of oil in the bottom. The oil is going to help stop our butter from burning. Um, so I'm going to put like a a good number of butter. Yeah, this is going to make a, an amount of pate you can share between yeah six, seven, eight friends. Um, so sizzle up your butter. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. Sizzle your butter in your oil, and once you've got a good bit of heat in there, um, you're not really trying to brown the shallots that we're about to put in. I've got about four shallots here, about 50 grams of diced lardon, which are bacon pieces, and three garlic cloves. So the garlic, the shallots, and bacon can all go in at once. And give that a little pinch of salt. Nice seed salt there. And a little sprick sprinkle of pepper. Spread that out. And just leave that on a kind of medium high heat. Don't try to brown it too much. You just want to sort of soften, soften the shallots and cook the pork out and, uh, and cook your garlic off. The shallots have softened nicely. Um, everything looks uh, is, is cooked out. So now we're going to just make a bit of space in the little pan. Um, try and move them away from the, sort of the hottest part. And turn it up just a little bit. And now we're going to add our chicken livers. With our chicken livers, we do want to put a bit of colour on there. Um, just put them in a sieve a few minutes before you start cooking. That'll let all the uh, kind of blood and bits drain off. And these can pop when you cook them. Just watch. So you don't have your face too close because it might pop and uh, you get a nice surprise. Just lay your chicken livers all down, nicely spaced, and you're just going to try and get a bit of colour on one side. And once you've got colour, you're going to turn them, uh, but you're going to cook them until they're just pink in the middle. You don't want to cook them all the way through either. Uh, so just give them a, bit, a few minutes on this one side, and then we'll turn them and cook the other side up. I've been going a few minutes now. Uh, I'm just going to need to turn them over so they've got nice colour. Nice brown underside. Give it a couple of minutes on the next side. And once they're brown on the other side, they can be ready for a bit of pork. And we can even, uh, we can even flambe the pork if we like. Oh, easy, leave it alone. <laughs> but now a couple of minutes uh, down the line, um, topping away nicely. You can see there's kind of like red juice coming out of the livers. And generally when you cook cooking meat, when you see the red juice starting to come out, it's about medium, medium rare, medium uh, uh, at the centre. So as soon as you see those juices start to push out, we're ready to flambe. Um, so I've got a rather nice vintage port, 2012 here. We're going to save that to drink. Um, here I've got a affordable tawny port, um, which we're going to use to flambe. So you just want a kind of slug, you want it to be on a decent heat. If you're doing this over a naked flame, put the port into something else and then come over and put it in, but I'm on an induction, there's no actual flame there, so it's pretty low risk. So it's going to put like, uh, you want this like good bubble as well, this gets the alcohol off, which makes it possible to bomb bait. Um, so we're going to just put a bit of a slug. Hey, fun day. Anyway, if you don't have gas, that should like straight away. Cool. 
So, after you've flambéed your pork, pinch dry time, maybe like 50 ml of cream, and we have a bit of local goat's cheese. So we're going to put a nice bit of little creamy goat's cheese in there. So there you go, cheese in. Check the amount of liquid and you kind of like, that's probably about right. I've got like a, just like a bit of liquid in there. I uh, don't want it too wet. Uh, and that's done, we just turn it off. We're just gonna let that cool a bit and then that's gonna be ready to blend into a puree and that's gonna make our chicken liver pate. So after a couple of minutes, our uh, mix is cooled a bit. Um, it doesn't need to be like cold, it just needs to be not as hot as in the middle of a pan. Um, and then you're just gonna put it into a, some sort of Pyrex jug, something like this. Take a hand, blend, hand blender and uh, just, just blend it to a, to a paste. Um, Seeds a little bit more salt, a little more pepper. Pepper goes really nice in this pate. Um, go, go heavy. There you are. So that <laughs> um, so that's done. You can see there um, that's quite. Yeah, you know, it it's sloppy. And it moves around quite a bit, but as that cools, the uh, all the proteins and the fats and things they're all going to set, and you're going to get that nice sort of like firm pate texture. So to 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 keep this, we can put it in some ramekins, and then uh, and then just rest some uh, or, or pour some melted butter over the top. And if you put that in the fridge, that'll uh, that'll keep for yeah you know, for three, four, five days. Although we're probably going to eat it like in about ten minutes. <laughs> I need to melt some butter. To keep your pate, um, so we've got friends coming over tomorrow. We're going to, uh, so we're just going to put this pate away till tomorrow. But to stop the top from discolouring, uh, we're, we're going to put a little bit of butter on top. Um, so just pop into a ramekin. Try not to get too much like around the edges because when it gets exposed to air, it will change colour and it looks better like this. So just take a spoon. So I'm gonna like push it into the edges, go around, and smooth it off as best you can. Probably gonna to want to stick to your spoon a fair bit. Yes. Smooth it off. Takes butter. Just pour it on there. Yeah, you, know, you don't need to like absolutely cake it. I just give it a little shake around. And give it a good cover, and then that kind of that's going to set on top, and it'll just have like a nice butter coating. You'll be able to just scoop into there, and uh, and just serve up to your friends. So that now goes in the fridge. That'll keep up to four or five days. Um, now, why we're we going to uh, share this? Um, <coughs> why we're we going to share this lovely uh, Santa Medium Grand Cru um, with uh, pate? It's like this pate, this chicken liver pate, and it's got. Um, it's full of iron, it's really rich, all those deep flavours. Um, so you're going to need something that's quite punchy to measure up to it. And the Santa Melions, they're a Merlot Cab Sav, Cab Franc blend. Um, good, good weighty grapes. Um, a good, uh, a really strong appellation. I was not saying that. That's a bit, yeah, a bit waffly. Wine is waffly, though, isn't it? Yeah. Wine is waffly. Um, it's a good punchy red wine. It's gonna it's gonna pair up well with a nice punchy pate with port and all those like shallots and and the, the livers. It's, it's just like it's it's only got a lot of weight of itself. So you're gonna need to pair it with like a nice weighty wine. Um, so a a uh, a Saint Emilion from Sunny Bordeaux. Uh, it's just gonna it's gonna go perfect with it. Um, do that. It's easy and enjoy. 
Thanks for coming to look at our channel and for checking out our video on uh, how to make a French chicken liver pate and which wine that you could, or a wine that you could enjoy with it. Um, if you do like our videos and you want to see what's coming up in the future, do uh, click like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you click the bell for notifications so you get each recipe we put up and each wine tip that we're going to be putting up. Um, yeah, see you soon.